the Celica front lip. So in a previous video I made this all out of fiberglass, moulded it from a plastic lip I got off eBay. But today we're going to try and prime this, a nice some high build prime on it. I've got edge primer on there already, it's all prepped with a 180. So I'm going to get some nice high build on there, let that dry, then we'll flat that, probably up to about 800 grit, and we'll get the silver and the clear on it, and hopefully fit it to the car. So we're going to mix up some paint, and we'll get started. If you didn't see the uh, previous videos, I'll pop a link below so you can have a look at this and how I made it all. It's all just a really nice marine quality uh, fiberglass. It's quite flexible, I've clipped it quite thin, so I've got a little bit of give if I hit any curbs, etc. But all the lines are alright now. I've done all those again. A little bit of areas I need to check. I need to give it a good clean as well because it's been sat in the workshop so it's covered in dust. So I'll give it a good clean, a little uh, check over with a 180. And then we'll get some high build on it. The primer I'm going to be using is the Ultra Follow 100. It's an acrylic filler primer. It's um, a German make. It's not bad actually. I think I got this on eBay. I think it was about £15 or so for 800ml, so just under a litre. I got the hardener with it as well. Not much hardener left because I was priming when the weather was cold, so I used an extra hardener to make it through dry a little bit quicker. But today I'll just use that last bit up. I'm not going to need a massive amount because I only want three light coats really. Just get it nice and smooth and fill any little pinholes, etc. Give it a really good stick. So all the uh, resin, etc., is all at the bottom. Just give it a good uh, mix before we pour it into a little pot. I won't be using my Deville Bisque gun for painting this, I'll be just using my cheap Sealy gun. It's got a slightly bigger nozzle on it as well, so I'll get a little bit more material coming out. Okay. I believe this is 5 to 1, it is. But I like to go 4 to 1, so I get a little bit more hardener. Oh, no. I'm only going to use a little tiny bit. I say tiny bit. About 100 mil left, I think. Something like that. And a hardener. I will uh, reduce this a little bit as well. And I'll have to use my other hardener, I think. I may mean, just do it. Yep, just done it. One last bit out of that. I made my money's worth. You can go in the bin. Just a splash of Universal Thinner. That'll do, I think. Use that for cleaning up the gun as well. That's just a cheap eBay one again, Sprint Line. It's pretty good for a Universal uh, product. If anybody wants the uh, links for these, just drop me a line below and I can uh, put a link in the comments section. Right, well that's the thing here, I'll get the gun out. It's a nice cheap gun actually, this cost me about 20 quid. I think I got that from Machine Mart. It's the S701G, quite a nice little gun. Use it for all my metal flakes as well because it's got a bigger nozzle. Yes, a zero tip. It's a little bit bigger. Just blow a little bit of thinness to it, I think, just to make sure it's flowing nice because I've not used it for a long time. Yeah, should be fine. I actually painted the Nissan with this gun all those years ago. Before I actually bought the Edi Vilvis and he painted a lovely little job on it. Actually, for a cheap gun just shows you know you can uh, get some decent results with some cheap products if you take your time, get your prep right and make you want to go to the toilet brilliant save that for clean up ok stick that on the rack just there put it back on the paint Get a filter. I 
a really good mix again. Nice and thick. I will just stick a tiny bit more thinners in there, I think, just to let it flow a little so I get a smoother finish. Get more chance of runs, but it doesn't really matter in the primer. Okay. There we go. Now grab my mask, we'll clean the panel off and we'll get this on. So given the actual panel a wipe over, just with some panel wipe, I'll give it a blow off in a minute with the airline, just getting a bit of dust off it. Just got it set up on an old brick and a bit of wood just to give it a bit of height. Also if I put too much weight on this lip at the back here, it does sort of warp a little bit. I want to try and keep that as level as possible as I put the products on it. Okay, so I'll put the compressor on now, we'll give it a blow off and then we'll wipe the uh, primer on there. Okay, that's the first coat. Put it nice and wet. I'll let that flash off. And I'll do exactly the same I don't know, three or four times. You can just see pinholes, etc. Hopefully, this hybrid will fill those. If not, I can use a little bit of uh, stopping putty before I actually do the paint. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry. Watch a little bit of YouTube, have a cup of tea, maybe a beer because it's a nice hot day. And we'll do another couple of coats. Okay, so I left the primer to dry overnight. I did actually sit it out in the garden in the sun as well. I'm going over quickly with a uh, 240 just to remove a little slight run I had there. And I had one there as well. There's a lot of scratch marks there I've got to get out as well. So I'll go over that with a 240 first. Just to uh, improve the actual finish a bit. And then I'll go over with a 500. And then an 800 wet and dry. A little run there as well I've got it out. There's plenty of material on that, I did um, three good coats in the end, so I think that should be enough material. If I do a breakthrough, then I can always spray a little bit of aerosol primer on before uh, the silver. So I'll crack on with this and do the um, flat in, and then uh, get the wet and dry on there, get a nice flat smooth finish. So I'm using these wet and dry soft blocks, so I can get into all the uh, nice curves, it's about 400 grit. These from uh, B and Q, etc. Just with a little bit of water, a tiny bit of soap in there as well. And my nice makeshift bench. So I'm just going to go all over with this, and then I'll do the same with the 800. Let's make a nice smooth finish. Try and get rid of all the scratches, so the silver lays down nice.
So what I'll do is I'll probably do a guide coat of silver first and then just check how it looks and how it's laying down. And if I do, I'll see little pinholes and things, little marks like that one there. And I can either put a little bit of stopper in it. You see them scratch marks, and if you can see those on camera, there's some little scratch marks and prep lines in there, so let's see if we can get those out as well. I'm going to do the base coat in a aerosol. I've got some left for when I did the side skirts, I colour coated those. So I don't think I'm going to have enough to do more than one or two coats. So I'm actually going to go over with the wheel silver first and get a nice base down with that. I've cleaned it and tacked it all. It's all nice and uh, clean now. And it's a good shape and then uh, we'll dust a nice coat over. And this is a show for any uh, imperfections anyway. Okay, I'll let that dry and then I think I'll probably dean it again, probably with something like an 800, we even might even go with a 1200, try and improve these little marks here. Um, you're not going to see it that much, because it's actually going to be tucked inside the actual bumper itself, inside the grill, but I just want to make it as nice as I can. As long as the front edge is the main area, you're going to see it and that looks quite nice. So right, okay, I'll let that dry, then I'll do another coat. So that's the wheel silver on. And it looks quite nice. There's a few little marks and imperfections here and there, but it's going to get stone chipped, so I'm not overly fussy. Along the front's quite nice. What I'm going to do now is go over with the uh, actual silver base coat in an aerosol. It's a 1E7 is the um, colour code, silver streak. There's a few variants in this. I know this is a little bit light to the actual car, but eventually I do want to repaint the entire front bumper because it's all uh, got lack of peel and stone chipped etc so I want to actually recover it anyway and it'll match the uh, side skirts now which is quite nice so I'm just going to give it a nice light dusting hopefully you should be able to just see a slight colour difference just want to keep it nice and light basically just dust this on so it makes all the metallics stand up get a nice and you finish. All right, leave that for a first coat. Let that flash off completely. We'll do probably three more coats. Last coat being a really nice light coat, like almost like a control coat. So actually, make sure all the metallics all laid nice and flat, and all in one direction. And then we'll let that dry, and we'll get the clear on. All right, so I'm going to mix up the clear now. The clear I'm going to be using is the Optima Ultra Clear Scratch Resistant, so hopefully it should give me a little bit of stone chip protection. It's a 2 to 1. I'm not going to use a massive amount. I'm just going to go to the second line, I think. There. I'm just going to use a uh, Universal Fast Hardener. Up to the 1. Now I'm not going to over thin this, I don't mind if it goes in a little bit peely. I don't want to get any runs if I can help it. Let's give it an agitate. As you can see it's a nice clear, clear coat. It's quite thin as well so I don't want to really over thin it. So I think I'll just go with that slightly extra bit of hardener and use that as my reducer. Less chance of reactions then as well because it's going to be less aggressive. Okay, I'll probably put this through my Deville Vis. Which is my GPI Pro. It's a base coat gun really, but I do use it for clear coat. All important filter. The base coat should be nice and dry now. I've done a nice drop control coat on it, so it's got a nice finish to it. So we do, we do three coats of this clear coat. We do a tack coat first, and then we'll do two further wet coats. Okay, so we'll get the compressor going. We'll do a nice light tack coat first. 
and let that settle for a good 10-15 minutes and then we'll do one further coat, nice wet coverage let that sit for another 10-15 minutes then do a last coat, which is three good coats really There we go, all clear coated. Come out quite nice actually. That's two and a half coats. I was going to do a third one, but I thought that looks clear enough and shiny enough. It's flowed out really nice. And luckily, no runs, which is very unlike me. Okay, so I'm going to clean out my gun, leave this overnight to dry nice and hard, maybe a couple of days actually, so it's nice and uh, cured and then we'll get it back on the car and uh, see how it looks as you can see I've trial fitted the actual lip I still got to secure it, I'm actually secure it with um, some 3M tape there's a couple of screws on each side I think the 3M tape will just hold this down as well along this lip along here so I shall do that next I'll give the bumper a good clean with some glass cleaner just to actually make sure there's no grease and uh, silicones etc and old wax on there just to make sure the tape sticks a lot nicer I use a heat gun or a hairdryer as well just to help the tape grip so what I'll do is I'll just slide that off, put some uh, 3M tape along here probably along this line here as well to pull that side in and hopefully that should be job done so there's a lip all installed Pretty happy with it actually. I had to use a little bit of uh, polyurethane sealer just around the edges just to make sure the gaps are all nice and tight because it wouldn't need water and air getting in there. But I can actually touch that in with some silver afterwards if I wanted to. But I am going to actually repaint the entire front bumper so I'll probably just blow some colour over that at the same time just to make it all look one piece. But I think it looks fine. Drop me a comment below, tell me what you think. But for a handmade piece, I don't think it looks too bad at all. It's a lot better than the eBay plastic one I had before. So I'm a lot more pleased with this. I think it looks a lot nicer. If you've liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you on the next one.